Hello and welcome friends. In the last video, we have seen how to draw orthographic projections when a three-dimensional object would be given to us. So when three-dimensional object would be given to us, we are supposed to draw its three views that would be the front view, top view and side view. And once we draw all these three views, then after giving the dimensions, and completing the all the hidden lines in the object we complete the orthographic projection so friends isometric projection is very important topic in engineering drawing so whatever we did in orthographic projections now we'll be doing exactly reverse way you can see here three views of the object either three views or two views of the object would be given in two dimensional figures and by looking at these two views or three views, we are supposed to draw a pictorial object that would be the 3D figure of the object this way. Now in this pictorial object, you can see all three views of the object can be visualized. Like in the direction of X, we can see the front view. In the same direction, when you will be looking from the top, you get the top view. And when you will be moving from left hand side, this would become left hand side view. But the important question is that how all these three views are visible in single pictorial view. For that, these edges which are horizontal lines are equally inclined with horizontal planes that at an angle of 30 degree itself. And the front portion would be tilted or would be leaned in forward direction so that top view also can be seen from the front. The whole object has been tilted at single point this is the single point at which this whole object has been tilted or leaned in front so this point is called origin point from which we are going to start the diagram so friends let's start with this isometric projection problem where two views of the object are given here now if i consider this view as a front view so this side view would become the left hand side view and if you observe here the origin point is given on left hand side of this front view so so origin point is the point where the whole object will be tilted at single corner point front view can be drawn on right hand side of that origin so that on the left hand side the side view can be drawn so in the side view you can see the whole diagram has been drawn on left hand side of this origin point O. So let's start with the diagram. Very first of all, we need overall dimensions of the object the way we supposed to find out in orthographic projections that is overall length, overall width and overall height. So in this front view, the overall length you can find out from extreme left hand side corner point to extreme right hand side point. So that dimension is given 80 mm. I'll choose multi-line text to give its length. That is 80 mm. Then when we are going to find out the total height, that would become 30 plus 45. That is 75. And 75 till the center line. From this center line till the end point, that would be the radius of this circular part that is given 25 so 75 plus 25 it would become 100 total breadth that can be find out in side view so total breadth of the object is 70 mm so we'll write here breadth is equal to 70 mm. Now if you observe the scale, it is given 0.2. So I will change the scale by selecting this text. And instead of 0.2, I'll give it 7 and then press enter. Now you can close this text editor. So that text can be visible. Now the way we are supposed to draw the rectangles for front view, top view and side view in orthographic projections. In isometric as well, we are going to draw these rectangles but in different way. Let's see 
but before we start we must change the setting to draw isometric drawing so go to the snap setting here and in the snap setting in the first head that is snap and grid you can find out snap type as isometric snap select this isometric snap and then click ok so you can find here the grids are made at particular angle here so this is called isometric snap make sure that your ortho mode is on so that lines you are going to draw that will come either vertical or at an angle of 30 degree so, so in isometric the lines at an angle of 30 degree will always be a horizontal line either on left hand side or right hand side but as in the question from the origin point we are going to draw front view on right hand side so for very first of all we are going to mark origin point o and then we will draw the front view so change the layer to the projection one and now the rectangle i am going to draw with the help of line command i am going to place the first origin point at this point and then i want to draw a line on right hand side now you can see the line can be created vertically in upward direction as well as on left hand side at an angle of 30 degree because ortho mode is on this line can be made at an angle of 30 degree directly but when i'm trying to drag the mouse on right hand side the line cannot be seen extended on right hand side so to change this orientation either you can press f5 that is function 5 or in this toolbar you can find out iso draft isometric drafting and from that isometric draft you can change the plane i want this isoplane right so i click that isoplane right now you can see here the line can be made on right hand side direction as well now we want the total length as 80 press enter now we will draw the height because in the front view length and height are visible so i will give here height as 100 then press enter then tick on left hand side by again length that is 80 enter and then come downward at the end point so this way you have just drawn a rectangle for front view similarly we can draw the rectangle for side view we know that in the side view one breadth would be visible and second height is visible so breadth we already have 70 mm and height we have 100 mm so take a line command and from this origin point towards the left draw a line of length 70 mm so as line is not getting extended on left hand side just change the orientation from iso draft again click over there and click on iso plane left then you can drag the line on left hand side by 70 mm that is the breadth Then take the line vertically up that is equal to height 100 enter and then take to the same point by 70 mm, 70 enter. Friends you have just drawn the rectangle for front view and rectangle for side view. Similarly if you are going to draw the rectangle for top view there would be two dimensions would be visible in the top view one is the total length and second is total breadth the height cannot be seen in the top view so i'll just copy these lines or you can draw even the lines as well so i'm just copying this line from this point to this point similarly i'll just copy this line right click do left click on this point and do second click on this end point press escape so this plane we have just created for top view so all these three planes will be representing front view side view and top view now we'll start the actual drawing of the object guys i'm going to start from origin point o we can see the vertical line of length 35 mm can be seen in front view but when you project this line on side view we can see this line is quite similar to 30 mm itself so in this case if you observe this line clearly 
this vertical line at origin point O, that line represents one plane where whole rectangle in the front view can be seen. So we are going to draw this profile first, which will be having height 30 mm and length 80 mm from the origin point O itself. Line command from origin point O, vertical line of length 30 mm, then towards the right, It is going till 80 mm, then coming downward by 30 mm, and then 80 mm towards the left. So, if you see, we have just drawn this profile in the front view towards the right hand side of origin. We have drawn this rectangle, which can be represented as by single line in side view. So, when you will be looking from the side view, this single line will be visible for the whole plane. If you try to project this line or this 5mm line, extra line, if you project these both the lines, you can see both the lines are present on these two lines itself. So try to visualize this object, how it can be looked. So we need 26mm gap to draw this 5mm and 45mm line, which will be vertical line from this origin point. So very first of all, we will draw a 26 mm line towards the left. Twenty-six mm. Then, if you see on left hand side, we can see the 5 mm line can be a vertical line, and on right hand side, the 45 mm line is vertical line. We'll draw 26 mm from this point as well. And then we'll draw 5 mm line from left hand side point here that is vertical line itself 5 mm and another vertical line from this right hand side point that would be 45 mm so we have drawn two vertical lines one is 5 mm and second is 45 mm one is 5 mm from this point to this point and second is 45 mm from this point to this point so to draw this slanted line, we need to draw the circle first and circle in isometric can be seen as a ellipse only for which the command is ellipse. Before you move to the ellipse, you must have that plane where you are going to create that ellipse. And you need two center lines to locate the center point of that circle or ellipse. So these center lines at a distance of 45 mm and 45 mm from this line and 25 mm is the radius of this circle. So from this right hand side point, this distance would be the 25 mm. So we'll change the layer here. We'll go to the center line. We already have 45 mm. So from this end point towards the left, we'll draw 25 mm line. because 25 mm is the radius of this circle here so we have taken we have draw this line till this center point of that circle now by taking this point as the center we can draw a ellipse here change the layer to the continuous one give command ellipse enter before you are going to click the center point or axis end point, just you have to click on ISO circle here. That is the type of ellipse you are going to draw ISO circle. When you click on ISO circle, it will ask you to specify the center of the ISO circle. Now you can click the center point of the ISO circle and just try to drag the mouse outward. So you can see the circle is being made. Now you have to check now whether the circle is being made on the exact right path, right orientation or not. If it is made in wrong orientation, again you have to press F5 or you can go to ISO draft to change its orientation. Now the radius we want 25, so give 25 and then press enter. Similarly, you have another circle that is having diameter 30 mm, so radius would be 15 mm. Go to the ellipse command again. 
click on iso circle select the center point of the ellipse drag the mouse outward give radius 15 and then enter so you can see the circular hole we have just drawn with the help of ellipse command but if you observe here the circle is not the whole circle because part of circle is given and this line is tangent to the circle this slanted line is tangent to the circle so we will draw a line from this point end and we will try to catch the tangent point on the circle so guys you can see here the tangent point is highlighted so you can click the point so line is made now you can trim the line which you don't want so this is how we just drawn this circle and then we have just trimmed the inside part now this way you have just created on right hand side part similarly on left hand side part because this center plate is having thickness of 18 mm so this same profile can be copied by 18 mm go to the copy where this vertical line slanted line the circular profile and circular hole right click do left click drag the mouse on left hand side change the orientation and give distance 18 press enter now you can see here the unwanted part you can just trim here the part of hole which can be seen from the circular hole that part would be visible only the remaining part can be trimmed now you can see here this part is having valid thickness here so we'll take line command and we'll draw a line between the quadrant points of this both once you connect this both the quadrant points the remaining lines can be trimmed like this arc would get trimmed now i'll take line command again and from this point we'll draw another line of distance 26 only 26 enter it will come downward download by again 30 mm 30 enter and then it will come to the end point once it is done now see what is left in this diagram except this horizontal surface because the way here we are having horizontal surface and its edge there also the horizontal surface and one edge would be there so we'll take line command and we'll draw a line from this end point just change the orientation draw a line in such a way that it should not catch any other points on the diagram then you can trim the unwanted line once it is done you can change or you can just turn off the center line and projection line as well So this is your isometric diagram of the given two views. So friends, this is a very simple problem in isometric diagram. We'll try to cover more complex problems from isometric projections. So now you can practice this problem by your own. And thank you very much for watching.